Three minutes to the opening of the market. Red ink for the Dow and the S&P. Small amount of green for the Nasdaq. Keith Fitz joins us this morning. Keith, the Nasdaq is down 12% in January. The S&P is down about 7% in January. I'm not going to. I don't care whether that's a correction or otherwise. Is the selling just about over? You know, that's a tough call. We saw what I thought was going to be the case. Everybody rebounded on Apple's earnings. They came into the party. But now the question is whether it sticks. I think the Fed is going to be the next point of concern. So unfortunately, I think we've got some pretty ugly thousand point days ahead of us. It's thousand, not over, Stuart. Uh, thousand point. OK, that means they could be down 600 and the you, you close up 400. That would be a Big thousand swings, point. Big swings, right. OK, Big that, swings. Now that's that's. Uh, uh, that's volatility for sure. Tomorrow, Google reports. Wednesday, it's Facebook. Thursday, it's Amazon. Depending upon what they report, could they put a floor under this market the way I think Microsoft and Apple did last week? You know, Google's the one to watch here because, you know, Facebook is going to be all fantasy island. It's going to be what's going to happen with the metaverse. They're going to split it between apps and reality. I think Amazon's under pressure because people, you know, the company's losing, got decelerating revenue growth. It's questionably moving away from the retail space into lots of things that people don't yet understand. But Google, on the other hand, has got advertising, it's got medical tech, it's got lots of other things that are arguably growing 30, 40, 50 percent a year in terms of business segments. So that, to me, if any of them are going to be the floor, is going to be the one. You don't sound too uh, keen on this floor idea. You don't think there is a floor yet, do you? No, I don't, Stuart. I mean, you know, again, I've been doing this a long time. The psychology changed a few weeks ago. Now, that said, am I negative about the market? Absolutely not, because these companies are going to change our world. They're going to move forward. I'm an optimist. You know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to these thousand point swings like a Viking at a buffet. What do I want to eat? It's going to be Google this week. Uh, Morgan Stanley says that they will be sellers of any rally. That sums up a lot of the feelings of a lot of investors, I think. You get a rally, you sell into it. Are you doing that? Well, <laughs> you got to take those guys with a grain of salt, right? You got to do what Wall Street does, not what they say. They have a long history of doing things that are absolutely a 180 from what investors should be doing. So it's not uncommon, and I'm not saying this is happening in this instance, but it's not uncommon for a major Wall Street sell side analyst firm to say buy when they're selling or sell when they're buying. So I take reports like that with great skepticism, and I look at the companies because then you've got to make your own decision, not a decision that's based on something that's said after the fact. All right. I may or may not report what Morgan Stanley is saying again on the rest of this program. <laughs> Let's see about that. Thanks very much, Keith. See you later.